Hello guys, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about Task Manager, which is down right here. So to get to Task Manager, what you want to do is, um, I already have it pinned to my taskbar, um, so what you're going to want to do is right click on your taskbar, and then select Task Manager. And sorry if you guys can hear my fans, they're getting kind of loud when I record videos. So just click on Task Manager. And then this will pop up a window that will show every that all the stats of, of your system, your CPU your CPU usage, your memory usage, which is your RAM, your disk usage, which is your like SSD or hard drive, how much network your computer is consuming, and your graphics card right here. So the so these are the list of running programs. So right now I'm running Windows Explorer, Task Manager, which is obviously Task Manager, and OBS Studio and that is recording my screen so if we just scroll down here these are all the things that are running in the background on your PC I don't worry if there's so much of them because there is a lot of them online too but the reason why there's so much is because this is everything running so just because you don't see anything in the taskbar running doesn't mean there are lots of programs running in the background so I have task manager which is right here control panel and I also have OBS Studio right here. Right here, this is OBS Studio, which is recording my screen. But just because you don't see anything on your taskbar doesn't mean there's anything running. So you can end some tasks here. I also have Boot Camp, which is, I don't know. Okay, Performance, this is your tab where all the details are about your system. So you can see the wavelengths. These are kind of like wavelengths on your CPU. You see your CPU usage, the speed it's running at currently, how much things it's doing at one time so I would say if this goes above 250 then it's dangerous for your computer and then memory this is how much gigabytes I'm using 8 gigabytes of DDR3 and my processor is an Intel Core i5-5350U at 1.8 gigahertz and I have an Apple SSD and I have another SSD and a Kingston which this is my I have a USB flash drive plugged into my computer right now and the Wi-Fi tab. This is how much Wi-Fi your computer is consuming here, and then your graphics, uh, then your graphics card here. So, so I'm consuming quite a bit of my 3D rendering here. So if we go video decode, nothing. So I'm just consuming 3D because I'm recording a video with OBS Studio. And then next is app history. Um, it shows what apps you use and like the history of them. Minecraft takes up quite a bit and stuff like that. And startup, this is all the applications that will open up on startup. So this could make your computer be slow. So basically this thing is to connect this to my second monitor because I have two monitors right now. And this here is uh, antivirus. This is a screen recorder, but I'm, right now I'm using OBS Studio, not this. This is program, I'm not, I'm not too sure, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft OneDrive, Logitech, Classic Start Menu, and Boot Camp Assistant. And users, this is your user pretty much. It's taking up, like this is what, if there's different users connected to your computer, then this will show up here. Details, nothing really. These are all just like your services that are running on your computer pretty much. Last tab is services, these are all the services running on your computer. So that is Task Manager. Um, now we're going to dive into control panel here. So let me just go back. Control panel is like the old thing, old Windows settings pretty much. So if you needed to change a setting in like Windows 7 or something, because I'm not using Windows 7, I'm using Windows 10, but I got the start menu here to look like, look like Windows 8.1 if I click it. You guys can see this kind of like the Windows 8.1 start menu you guys see pretty much. Um, not the classic flower background too, but let's go back to control panel and see these. So, system and security, and if you click on system here, it'll show all the stats about your system. I, again, I have a Core i5-5350U, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 64-bit processor, advanced system settings. Let me just, oh, it popped up on my first monitor here. Let me drag it over. If you click on settings, it'll show, like, pretty much... And then advanced, you can change how much RAM you have in your system. It's like virtual memory, not like real RAM, pretty much. So, yeah. Uh, and, yeah. that's. I don't know what else I should show in this video. Oh, oh, also this app here. 
this. This shows how hot my CPU is getting. So uh, right here, right there, is how hot it's getting. It's about 54 Celsius, something like that. It's not that hot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash a like, subscribe. Hope you, hope you guys enjoyed. This is the task manager again. You can see all these stats, remember? Um, all this stuff, yeah. Okay, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash a like, subscribe, and goodbye.